hello my dear students welcome in this channel patel science academy in this lecture you are going to learn about the human reproduction and especially in this lecture i am going to explain you about the human female reproductive system dear students as you know this is the symbol of femaleness and you are going to learn about the all points of the female reproductive system in detail in this lecture but before we go in the depth of this lecture i request you to subscribe my channel patel science academy like it share it and uh, please uh, comments uh, in the comment box if you are having some queries and uh, press the bell icon to receive my all new lectures so dear students let's go uh, for the next slides before we go in the depth of this uh, re female reproductive system i would like to explain you about some terms known as uh, genitals or genitalia dear students in the female or male reproductive system uh, there are female or male reproductive organ and that organs are term are called as a genitals or genitalia means simply genital or genitalia is a scientific term we use for the reproductive organ in the body of male or the uh, female so uh, it's a reproductive organ and what is the purpose it is designed for the intercourse and the conceptions so dear students in the female reproductive system what is the female genitalia you can consider it the female reproductive organ like for example female ovary can be considered as a female genitalia so simply the genital or genitalia is the term we use for the reproductive organ present in the body of both male and female so uh, now uh, move on the uh, let's move on the next slides and next slides includes uh, the female reproductive organ means the female reproductive genitalia whatever that organ is we'll see in the next uh, slides so the purpose of a female reproductive organ is intercourse, reproduction, urination, pregnancy and the childbirth. These are the five main important functions of the female reproductive organ in the female reproductive system. Uh, it is designed actually for all these five functions. Uh, intercourse for uh, having the sexual uh, desire with the male body and uh, for the reproduction urination pregnancy and the childbirth this is designed all these female genitalia or female organs are designed for this uh, purposes so uh, now you are watching this uh, side view internal female anatomy and in this uh, internal female anatomy uh, i hope uh, you are watching some points here and that points we'll see here one by one so dear students uh, will uh, first see this uh, blue color uh, blue color ball here and this blue color ball it's a beginning of the female reproductive system if you want to learn it female reproductive system we should always start from this ovary so this ovary uh, this blue color uh, egg uh, blue color uh, ovule shape or egg shape structure it is called ovary and there are uh, two ovaries in the female reproductive system in the next slide i am explaining you i'm going to explain you in the uh, the front view of the female reproductive system uh, so this is ovary it is having a linkage uh, cover that is called fimbri and that fimbri is a fim uh, fimbri is just like a fimber finger like projection and this fimbri the fimber finger like projection it holds the ovary in a proper position and this uh, fimbri it uh, leads to the ligament and this ligament is called suspensor ligament and this suspend suspensor ligaments joints joints this female uh, ovary with the next part that is urinary bladder that is the part of the excretory system and uh, with the bone pubic bone so this is simply the ovary with its fimbri and with its linkage with the bones of the body but this is not the main reproductive organ reproductive organ uh, is uh, ovary and it next it opens into a tube this tube this side tube and this side tube is called fallopian tube so this is the main part of the female reproductive system ovary fallopian tube this tube so ovary fallopian tube and this fallopian tube open into this space that space is the most important part of the female reproductive system and it is called uterus 
in this uterus this is the space and this uh, space is very important in the female reproductive system as in this space the development of the embryo means the development of the fetus takes place and the for about 288 days so uh, ovary fallopian tube and uterus this uterus then it opens into this narrow passage you are watching here and this narrow passage is called cervix this is the rectum part of the body and this is the most important next part uh, next to the uterus it is a narrow passage called cervix and cervix open into this space and this space is called vagina so this space is called vagina so dear student uh, vagina is the opening of the female reproductive system outside the body so simply the female reproductive system includes ovary its femur its attachment with this bone but the most important is ovary fallopian tube uterus cervix and vagina now we'll go for the front view so dear students in this front view i hope you are observing now this female reproductive system this is right side ovary this is left side ovary means there are two ovaries or one pair of ovary now this ovary it it has its femur this finger like projection this brush like structure is called femur or fimbria means it holds the ovary in a proper position then this femur it opens into this tube you are watching here this side over is opening here into this femur and into this tube and this side into this tube this tube is called fallopian tube so dear students till now we have seen about uh, two ovaries two femuries and it's opening into a tube these two fallopian tube so now we uh, uh, till now we have seen about the pairs organs of the female reproductive system one pair of ovary one pair of femuri one pair of fallopian tube now this fallopian tube from both sides from left and right side open into a single structure the single first single part of the female reproductive system which is as open space and this is called uterus so this space is called uterus and it is having its muscular walls that is called endometrium you can watch uh, uh, you are watching here these are the wall of the uterus and this is the actually space and in this space the fetus is uh, developed in a future and this uh, female uh, this endometrium the wall of the uterus it opens into a narrow passage you can see here this narrow passage is called cervix and this cervix open into this open place this is called vagina and vagina is the opening of this female reproductive system outside the body so dear students simply the uh, female reproductive system is having two ovaries two femuries two fallopian tube one uterus the wall muscular wall endometrium of the uterus one narrow passage cervix and one vagina this is diagrammatic ex explanation of the female reproductive system but you are watching this one this one structure is also here and dear student these are the ligaments these are the ligaments which connects or attach this ovary with this wall of the uterus and this is called ligaments this is about the front view and i hope you have understood about the, all the points uh, simply in a very short way now we'll see the detailed account of all these points one by one so very firstly we'll see the ovary so dear students as you know there is a pair of ovary two ovaries are there these two ovaries are solid egg shaped 
structure and they are attached to the uterus by the ligament as I told you and they are the counterpart of the male testicles and ovaries have two main functions what are the two main functions of this ovary we'll see it one by one so dear students these functions are very important let's see the function number one to store and to release the female egg or ovum uh, this is the very first function of the female uh, female ovary to store and to release the egg that is female gamete or it is also called ova and some of this ova disappears and other become dormant and until each is ripened and released after the puberty so this is function number one function number two is again so important function and it is to produce two types of sex hormone that is number one estrogen and number two progesterone to produce these two hormone and what are the function of these two hormone we'll see in the next slide so dear students till now we have seen about this ovary the <coughs> two uh, very first part of the female reproductive system it is two in number that is one pair egg shape egg shape and they are attached to the uterus by the ligaments and they are the counterpart of the male testicles and have the two main functions the number one function it stores and releases the um, uh, female egg or gamete that is called ova and second function is it produces two hormones estrogen and progesterone this is about the female ovary now we'll go for the ova what is ova you know it is female gamete and this female gamete is also called this female gamete is also called um, female egg so this is female reproductive cell and this is most important point of this female reproductive cell that uh, it is the largest cell of the female body about the size of the grain of uh, uh, sand uh, uh, you can also uh, remember this part this feature uh, for the general knowledge which cell in the female is uh, the largest cell so dear student it is female gamete that is called ova or ovum or an egg so this is the largest cell of the female body the female baby is born with all the ova she will ever have about two lakhs in each ovary and again this is very important point and most important point is about 400 to 500 ova matures in the whole life and releases over the lifetime in the female body again this is most important point 400 to 500 ovum are matured and released in the body of the female in a life uh, in a lifetime this is about the ova now <coughs> we'll go for the next slide in the next slide you are uh, watching here a name of a sex hormone that is called estrogen and previously i told you uh, as a second number function of the ovary estrogen is produced by uh, this uh, female ovary and what is the function of this estrogen now we'll see it so it is responsible for the secondary sexual characteristics Secondary sexual characteristics and in, it includes the development of the pubic hair and the other hairs uh, and the changes in the voice and the appearance of the uh, sex drive uh, females and it spurs the onset of the puberty the beginning of the sexual life and it is responsible for the ovulation these are the most important three functions of the estrogen uh, let's see it one more time uh, the development of the secondary sexual characteristics uh, like the changes in the voice, the development of the pubic hair and underarm hair uh, that is called section, secondary sexual characteristic it is developed due to this estrogen and if it is not present all that characteristic secondary sexual characteristics will not appear in the body of the female then uh, it uh, sex drives in the female and it spurs the onset of the puberty the sexual life beginning is indicated by this estrogen hormone and most important thing it is the ovulation the process of release of ovum or egg from the ovary this is called this is called ovulation and ovulation is done by the estrogen so these are the most important function of the estrogen and i hope you have understood about this estrogen it is a hormone secreted 
or produced by the female ovary now we will see the second number proge uh, hormone that is called progesterone and what is the function of the progesterone the most important function it build up build up the lining of the uterus that is called endometrium as i have explained in the diagram endometrium's lining is uh, uh, build up by this progesterone this is the very first function in uh, it is, uh, in the preparation for the fertilized uh, ovum so ovum fertilization means the sperm and ovum fusion uh, its preparation is done by the pro uh, progesterone so this is m again the most important hormone in the life of the female that is called uh, progesterone so dear students till now i have explained you about uh, uh, two hormones two sex hormone in the female body you can remember it as a ep uh, estrogen and progesterone uh, now we'll see the next slide and next slide includes the again the most important function for process that is called ovulation what is ovulation when the egg is uh, completely ready or it is uh, completely developed it is released from the ovary by rupturing the wall of ovary and that process is called ovulation so this ovulation this term is here because this ovulation uh, is for the release of ova because egg is also called ova uh, singular ovum or plural ova so that is why it is called uh, ovulation so simply it is the release of ovum or ova from the ovary by rupturing the wall of ovary from the body it is called ovulation so this is very first feature uh, it takes place at the age of, age of the uh, puberty means when the beginning of the sexual life uh, is seen in the body of the female the process of ovulation is seen there the ovum moves to the surface of the ovary in the and and and, and it bursts out the ova falls into the fallopian tube and waits for the fertilization as you know the uh, ovary is there fimbri is there then fallopian tube is there so from in the ovary that if if that ova or ovum or egg uh, is ready or fully developed it uh, it ruptures the wall of the ovary and it goes into the fallopian tube and in the fallopian tube the process of fertilization takes place means the fusion in between the male gamete that is called sperm during the intercourse um, uh, now i'll explain it uh, uh, diagrammatically to this point so dear students uh, uh, this point i'll explain here by uh, diagrammatically uh, how this process takes place how this process takes place uh, the process of ovulation so dear student this is over ovary and I, I am explaining you about the ovulation in this ovary ova is produced or prepared or developed if it is fully developed it ruptures the wall of the ovary and goes into this region this is called fallopian tube and it, it releases into the fallopian tube then the release of this ova into the fallopian tube from the ovary this is called ovulation and it goes you can see it goes into this region of the fallopian tube the one third of the fallopian tube and female rece receive the male sex uh, gamete from this way from the vagina penis center into the uh, female reproductive system into this region and uh, semen is released into this region in that semen there are um, millions of uh, sperms that sperms moves or travels from this region into this fallopian tube sperms comes into this fallopian tube and at about one third of this fallopian tube by the process of the ovulation ova has come here and sperm is uh, coming from this region so likewise sperm is coming here and by the process of ovulation ovaries also have reached here so the fusion of this sperm that is male gamete with the ovum that is female gamete takes place and this process is called fertilization so fertilization process takes place in this region in the fallopian tube at about one third of this fallopian um, uh, tube so this is the pro uh, uh, this is about this uh, 
uh, ova falls into the fallopian tube and wait for the fertilization if the body is bachelor the process of uh, uh, intercourse will not take place and that ova will be released from the body by the blood stream uh, and if uh, body is marriage and if that body will receive sperm during the intercourse it can uh, fertilize the ovum or egg and the most important part is uh, uh, in the female body there is a cycle uh, a cycle is run there and that cycle is uh, called menstrual cycle for about 28 days and uh, I'll explain about that cycle in the next lecture and out of that 28 days the process of ovulation it takes place at the 14 number day uh, out of that for 28 days and uh, it is confirmed uh, from this point that uh, ovum is released at the 14 number days and if at the 14 number days of menstrual cycle if uh, intercourse is done so that sperm will definitely fertilize the egg and, and that will convert into a zygote and it will lead to the formation of the embryo that is fetus that is the child and next generation so uh, this is about the ovulation now we'll go for the next fun uh, next slide next slide is a fallopian tube dear students as you know that fallopian tube is also called oviduct so now we'll see the different points of the ov uh, oviduct or fallopian tube these are the two tubes attached on either sides of the uterus as I have explained you about uh, these fallopian tube in that uh, diagram too uh, there are about 4 inches uh, uh, long this is the length of the uh, fallopian tube about 4 inches and uh, 3 by 16 inch in a diameter the size of a cooked spaghetti noodles uh, this can be assumed or considered for uh, the diameter of the fallopian tube the oviduct carry egg cells towards the uterus and sperm cells towards the egg as i have told you uh, in the previous uh, diagrammatic representation fertilization takes place in the upper third of the oviducts so this is about the different points of the fallopian tube and i hope you are learning about this female reproductive system one by one in the slides now we'll go for the uh, next slides and next slides uh, it includes about the fallopian tube so dear students i have just explained about the fallopian tube this is that fallopian tube of the right side and left side fallopian tube is here so in this fallopian tube at the one third region ovum is coming from here by the process of ovulation and if body is married or if she has received the sperm it comes here into this region uterus and from this uterus the, the sperm uh, travels into this region and uh, the process of fertilization takes place as the one th third region and i hope you have uh, learnt about the process of fertilization till now the fusion of male gamete with the female gamete this is for fertilization and the conversion of this egg and sperm into cell uh, that is called zygote uh, this, that, that process of fertilization takes place in the uh, female uh, uh, fallopian tube um, dear students now we will go for the next slides and next slides after the fallopian tube it includes uterus so this is again the most important and the biggest part of the female reproductive system that is called uterus it is, it is the hollow muscular organ uh, shaped uh, somewhat like a upside down pears and about the size of the fist so you can see your fist it is about like your fist in size so next po next point about the female uterus it includes the uterus it is lined with the endometrium uh, blood lining this lining that is called endometrium it is so important part in the uterus because the process of uh, menstruation the menstrual cycle uh, it includes this endometrium and a lot of changes in this endometrium takes place during that menstrual cycle uh, that you will see in my uh, next special lecture about the menstrual cycle in female
now we'll go for the next point the uterus has uh, one main function to protect and nourish the fetus as i told you it protects the fetus the developing child in this region and it nourishes the fetus the nourishment uh, of the fetus is also done in that region so uh, uh, this is most important function the next function the walls of the uterus have the ability to stretch and the size of the small watermelon so uh, unlike a small watermelon it can assume that size because of the ability present in the wall of the uterus so uh, you can uh, understand from this point during the delivery process in the female body why it it can uh, stretch because of the lining of the uterus wall the next point it includes the after the childbirth the uterus shrinks back to the original shape in a six to eight weeks but it can take up to nine months for the uterus to full recover this is about the uterus now we'll go for the next slide next slide is the next part next to the cervix uh, next to the uh, uterus there is a cervix and it is the neck or the opening of the uterus it is actually a narrow passage a normal healthy cervix is the strongest muscles in the body and this is the you can also remember this point this is the strongest muscles in the female body that is called cervix it dips down about half an inch into the vagina the next and the last part of the female reproductive system it is normally plugged by the mucus and it stays tightly closed during the pregnancy but thins and opens from the for the delivery uh, of the baby and how big does it need to delay to uh, for birth so this cervix actually at normal it is a narrow passage but during the delivery period it can uh, stretch and help to deliver the baby now we'll go for the next part and next part is uh, the vagina now we'll see the different part of this vagina one by one female organ used for the intercourse as i told you earlier it is the organ of intercourse and it is an empty passageway leading from the vaginal opening to the uterus actually it's an opening of the female reproductive system outside the body and it is the source of receiving the male uh, penis uh, inside the body and it is the source of intercourse it is only three to four inch long but will lengthen during the arousal the vaginal walls are made of many small folds membrane and that stage greatly to the to accommodate a baby during the birth birth and the vaginal wall also creates a, a secrets a fluid and and that helps to make the intercourse easier to receive the male penis this is about the vagina then the next part next part is the common part uh, of two system that is called urethra that two systems are excretory systems and the reproductive system this is the part uh, present in the both system excretory and the reproductive system so it is the opening of the bladder that is urinary bladder uh, 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 this is that opening that is called urethra the uh, next small part is uh, clitoris and uh, thus a small p-shaped bump at the front of the labia and it contains uh, it contains a small amount of the erectile tissue and the uh, clitoris increases the sexual pleasures so this is called clitoris now some important part of the woman's cycle in short its detail account i'll explain in the next lecture uh, but in short i am explaining uh, this uh, menstrual cycle here it it is for one to uh, it is it is uh, from one day to 28 days and what happens during that days actually there are four phases 
of 24 uh, 28 days and what happens during the very one uh, very first day first phase takes place that is called menstruation begins that is a bleeding phase and thereafter uh, from the second day to five day uh, the menstrual is usually ended then the next phase start uh, at a day of uh, day number 14 and ovum has matured and burst out of the ovary that is the process of ovulation as i explained you previously then the next phase from the uh, 15 days uh, uh, after 24 hours the egg is done then uh, day 26 in the absence of the fertilization the estrogens and the progesterone these two sex hormone its levels drops or fall down and the endometrium lining breaks down and um, thereafter menstruation begin again at the day number 28 so in short this is the explanation of the menstrual cycle in the woman's body the timeline the timeline for the female life at the age between the 9 to 12 the secondary sexual characteristics appears as i told you secondary sexual characteristics includes the change in the voice the beginning of the puberty that is the sexual life as well as the change changes physical changes in the body like the uh, increase in the size of the mammary gland in the chase region and the uh, development or appearance of the uh, hair uh, pubic hair underarm hair uh, that is called uh, secondary sexual characteristics all that takes place at the age between the 9 to 12 years then the age of uh, age in between the 11 to 14 years of age menstrual cycles begins and then in the late 20 to 30s year of age the peak sexual urges and the age between the 45 to 55 the men menopause that is the uh, menstrual cycle stop for ever but the sexual urges continues so these are the small changes uh, these are the different changes that takes place in the life of the female body uh, this is called timeline for that so dear students please subscribe my channel please uh, share my all lectures with your friends and with the needies and please uh, uh, like it and comment uh, for your queries and please uh, do not forget to press the bell icon uh, to receive my uh, new lectures and please uh, subscribe my channel and this will be your support for me and it will increase my uh, uh, dare to uh, provide uh, different types of lecture to you to uh, uh, in a, a very easiest way so this is Shaza sir saying you goodbye Stay home, stay healthy. Thank you very much.